Hi, this recording will explain how to add some final touches that you may be interested in when you think you're finished uploading your docs and you've got your site pretty well done. You can go to the More button and open up the Manage Site area and you'll see lots of options over here related to your site. If you choose colors and fonts, there are some fun things you can adjust over here. Right now, your portfolio looks you know, like this, and you can maybe decide that you'd like a different theme. So, do you see where I clicked? Right here under Base Theme. And you can choose a different kind of look for yourself if you'd like. I'll do this one, show you an example. And it will preview it for you right here on the same page. You can think, ah, uh, no, I don't like that. It doesn't look like my style or whatever. And you can pick a different theme. So that might be something you're interested in. Save all changes that you make when you adjust something. Save that. And you can go back to your site right here to kind of see the whole thing. Okay, and so now you kind of have like a different background. When you're finished with everything and you need to turn into your teacher or share with your teacher, don't forget to share by following the share settings. Make sure that people at MUHSD can find your site. You don't want to give editing permissions to anybody. You just want people to be able to view your site. So change, you know, that your teacher can view the site or the interviewer can view your site and you can make it um, public for anybody to view or anyone that you give the link to can view but don't give editing rights to anyone else. Save. Okay, now you've changed that so that anyone who has the link can view or the public can view, not edit and then add your teacher's email address down here, first initial last name at muhsd.org. And again, your teacher would not be editing your site, but viewing it to give you the grade or whatever, unless they give you different directions. Okay, and then share once you've got their email address typed in there. If you have any other questions, come find Mrs. Garman in the library or email her. Um, and she'll get back to you or help you as soon as possible. Thanks.